Hello, my name is Yine Ying. The goal for this video is to deconstruct the dash in Overcooked 2 and Genoshift on PC. First, let's talk about input. In Overcooked 2, players can dash to the direction they are facing by simply pressing a key, worked with both empty hands and with foot. While in Genoshift, if the player only presses the dash key in the game, the character will not do anything at all. Players should press the WASD first to decide the direction, then press shift to dash. In both games, if the character is near a wall, the dash animation will still play, but the character will not move. Now let's break down the matrix. In Overcooked 2, I chose a level with clear grids on the floor. I moved the character to the second grid and pressed the dash key. The character moved for two units of grids and ended up on the third one. After testing, the dash takes 0.2 seconds while walk to the location takes half of a second. And in Genoshift, I chose a place with bricks on the floor and start dashing. The character landed on the ninth brick and the dash takes 0.16 seconds while walk to that location takes 0.5 seconds. So, dash is obviously a good mechanic to use in both games. The player feedback for these two games are very clear. For Overcooked 2, the player can see the dash animation that the character is sprinting in the direction it's facing. There is smoke left by dash at the end of the character to let the player see better. Also, the audio feedback is loud and clear. Player can hear the sound of dash so they can determine what they are doing and what to do next. For Genoshift, the player character seems really small but the dash animation is still visible. By pressing the key, the character will disappear for a really short time and appear on the other end it landed. And the audio feedback is clear too. The dash mechanic plays a big role in both games. In Overcooked 2, the dash is used to speed up the movement so that player can save time on the way to do other actions, like chopping or cooking, in order to get a better score to pass a level. Additionally, Overcooked 2 designed a special level stack page that player controls a car to go to different levels. Inside the level select, the car can also dash using the same input as in the game. This can be seen as a clever use of the dash mechanic to enhance the memory of players. While in the general shift, the dash seems much more important. Since this is a top-down shooting game, not only the dash is used for moving faster, it also used to dodge enemy bullets. With that being said, the dash cannot be unlimited in the game. There are three little triangles at the bottom of the screen which represents the dash. When all of them is used, the triangles will turn dark. Player needs to wait for a cooldown time to use the dash again. However, in Overcooked 2, player can dash as much as they want. Dash is a very useful mechanic. Both games I introduced today designed the dash well and fits the game properly. Thanks for watching.